guys, this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal, back for a little more Metal Madness on Thursdays. So, before we jump in, how you guys doing out there in YouTube land? You guys good? Let me know. Comment below. Love to hear about it. So, today we're going to be talking about 17.7. But before we jump in, if you haven't, just please subscribe. Appreciate it. Support the channel. Very grateful. Our topic for today, as I said, is 17.7. It is another in the precipitation hardening type of stainless steel. The UNS designation for the chemical composition is UNS17700. This alloy is capable of high strength and toughness with the corrosion and oxidation resistance typical of many stainless steels after final heat treatment coupled with excellent fabrication characteristics in the solution treated condition. 177 has applications requiring forming of intricately shaped parts where other alloys are inadequate. As in all precipitation hardening stainless grades, the first step is a solution treatment. Typical solution treatment is at 1900 to 1950 degrees Fahrenheit, followed by rapid cooling to room temperature. In this condition, the material is readily fabricated into complex parts. Solution treatment is most often performed by the producing mill. After fabrication of the part, the hardening heat treatment develops the final properties. For TH 1050, parts are conditioned at 1400 degrees Fahrenheit, cooled to 60 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour, followed by aging at 1050 degrees Fahrenheit. For RH 950, parts are conditioned at 1750 degrees Fahrenheit, then cooled to minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit for eight hours prior to aging at 950 degrees Fahrenheit. So now, let's talk about a little chemistry. What do we got today? We got carbon, 0 0.09 max. We got manganese, 1% max. We got silicon, 1% max. Phosphorus, 0.04% max. Sulfur, 0.03% max. Chromium, 16 to 18%. Nickel, 65 to 7 and 3/4%. Aluminum, 0.75 to 1.5%. And so, Chemistry, there it is. Density, 0.282 pounds per cubic inch in the solution annealed condition. Minimum mechanical properties, TH1050 condition, longitudinal, 180,000 PSI tensile strength, 150,000 PSI yield strength, 6% elongation. In the RH950 condition, longitudinal, 210,000 PSI tensile, 190,000 PSI yield, 5% elongation. And now, specs. How she go? We got sheet, strip, and plate with an AMS 5528. A couple ASTMs in there. And we got sheet and strip only at AMS 5529. Specs and chemistry wrapped up. And so we've reached a point in time, which is where we're going to remind you that the specifications and part requirements they can add to or alter the information that we have presented to you today. And so for the 53rd time, we're going to tell you, check the specs twice. So this is Michael from Michael Talks Metal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of this new format. I'm interested for your feedback. I will see you next Thursday, 10 a.m., and I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. If you've missed any of the previous videos, right there. And if you're here still and you haven't subscribed, right there. Lastly, before I go, check out MichelinMetals.com. Again, thank you for watching. See you next Thursday. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I'm out.